What we're looking at next is basically uh, kind of like a real world problem that's given to you out of your textbook. So what it's talking about is the gray wolf population. Uh, you guys can read a little bit. Let me see if I can't get that. Uh, there you go. Uh, give you a little uh, example. So you guys can go ahead and read the material on your own, just stopping the, the film and stuff. But what I want to talk about is down here, the exponential function f of x is equal to 1 decimal 2, 6 e to the decimal 2, 4, 7 x power. Uh, that models the gray wolf population in the northern Rocky Mountains. So we're talking about this section of our map right here as compared to the western Great Lakes. Uh, the function uh, f of x is the gray wolf population x years after 1978. If the wolf population is not removed from the endangered species list and uh, tens and trends shown in the figure uh, continue, project the population in the recover area in 2010. So what we're going to do is we'll basically use our formula. So we have f, oops, I hope I get something that can write. So we have f of x is equal to 1 decimal 2, 6 e. So there's that natural base, 2, 4, 7 x power. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out what it's going to be uh, in the year 2010. Well, to do that, we need to figure out what x is. So 2010, and uh, it's basically X years after 1978. So what we'll do is we'll look and say, well, if you add two years to that, it'll be 80. Add 20 years to that, and it'll be 2000. So X for our problem right here is going to be 32. So what we're going to do is we'll basically take that value, and we'll say F of 32. Oops, I forgot the 2. Is going to be 1.26 e to the decimal 247 and then times 32 power. So we're going to use our calculator now to see if we can't uh, actually compute this value. So let's see, it kind of covered up what I was hoping to type in. We can move over a little bit, turn it on. So first I'm going to do, I'm going to go second uh, ln and I'll say decimal 247 times 32. Make sure that it writes everything as the exponent because uh, some calculators, some older models, when you hit times, will put the 32 down on the regular line and not make it in the exponent. So we get that right there, and we're going to multiply that by 1 decimal 26. So our gray wolf population will be roughly about 3,412. So f of 32 will be roughly 3,412. And you can see this may not be an exact uh, science here, but here's a nice little trend. Uh, if you see another four years, um, you know, will that population tend to grow that way? Well, it is exponential growth, so it may uh, be able to be modeled in that instance. And you can see a little bit of uh, this one compared to this one how it does increase pretty dramatically after you get to a certain point. Now obviously the equation for these two will be different based on their growth rates. So with that being said, it would be important to know something like this because not only would you have to come up, you know, for, for an animal to survive, you don't want to overpopulate an area. So they need enough shelter and enough food to be able to support that many wolves. So it's important for those people who are studying uh, population of animals to make sure that those things exist.